everything is so stressful now with all the traffic, with all the work, and sometimes you feel suffocated with everything. I always tell my friends this, go home, don't play any music, keep quiet, sit in the middle of the room, close your eyes, and just try to listen to everything around you. Once it hits you, like when you open your eyes, everything's so clear all of a sudden, everything is just so amazing. What's hello, up? Hello. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, you want to come in? Okay, let's do it. I am making some oatmeal. Okay. Yes. It's oatmeal. Thanks for coming. Of course, because I heard you were making some stuff. I'm always making stuff. Okay, so what's this? What are we doing today? Uh, well, I'm making some baon for after the workout. So I'm making my special oatmeal. It's my little secret recipe. I found out that you weren't always, you know, cooking your own food. You weren't always yeah. this way. How? Wh what was your lifestyle before this? I used to be like, um, I'd go to taping and I'd eat fast food. And then as of, yeah, like three years ago, I decided also, so I started to eat healthy now. I started my own research and then I, I enrolled in cooking classes. When I learned how to cook, that's when I saw how much butter and salt and all of these stuff that aren't healthy, how much they put in the food. So from then on, I got more conscious with what I put in my body. So after that, it just made me feel so much better. Even my skin shows it, my even how I interact with people, even my mood changes because of food. I used to do like fasted cardio, yeah. intermittent fasting, and especially with my line of work, I teach yoga, I teach like three to five classes a day, and then I train every day. When I don't feed myself, then I feel weak. So it's all about listening to your body also and fueling it right. enjoy regular yoga but I've never done yoga that required me to not be on the mat when we got to the studio it was so calm like a regular yoga studio except there were these hammocks like orange hammocks hanging from the ceiling okay, so let's get you measured up first grab the hammock on your push grip when we stepped on the mat teacher Mappy explained to us that even beginners will be able to do all the moves we just had to listen to ourselves, to her, and trust the mat. So walking in it, I was less intimidated and more like, let's get this on. So push the hammock down, bring the hammock a little wider than your hips. Push the hammock down, lift your heels up, lift one knee up, and slide yourself inside of the hammock. Okay. okay. <laughs> you can do it. I'm excited. Whenever I would sock, doing the pose, it was because I was second-guessing the move. So when she told us to like lift our legs, I would just kind of lift it up or you know, I'd be afraid to like lie back down. Okay, wait. <laughs> okay. Things are harder when they're explained to you while you're putting that. Physically, there's a pain um, in areas of my body that never really felt that pain before. When I do other sports, I forget to stretch or to um, add mobility to my workout, and so the muscles just stay tight. Feet up. Slide your feet up. up. Can you bring one leg to the center? Right leg. Yes, to the I can. And this time, can you try to bring both legs to the center? Okay, wait, let's hope. <laughs> Are you still alive? <laughs> When Bubbles was encouraging me to just, you know, trust myself, trust, trust the hammock, that's when I was able to do the poses better. Even if, you know, it was my first time. This is fun. 
your practice is your practice. It's different from whoever is beside you on the mat. Because if you keep comparing yourself to others or the progress of other people, then you're gonna be unhappy. I think holistic wellness helped me function better because um, I, I'm more mindful with everything that I do. I became more conscious of of how things affect me or how things would affect other people. And then it taught me how how to let go of resentment. So every time I feel irked over something, I'm just like, okay, nope, you're not gonna have power over me. So you just let go. Oh my gosh. When you wanna nail that handstand, how much do you want it? So that's always a question. How much do you want it? Are you willing to struggle for it? So up until you reach your tipping point, then you just keep on pushing. And I think with yoga, it just made me more aware of where I am. Heads down to your hearts. Anti-gravity is not only a workout for the body, but also a workout that focuses the busy mind. So thank you and I hope to see you again. Gravity Yoga and this experience just taught me that if you trust yourself more during a workout, you're just going to be better at it as compared to if you go into it with doubt. I feel like it's such a great time to meet Bubbles today just because she sort of is the kind of energy that reminds you that if you want to start something, just do it. You know, we always have a thousand and one excuses they'd say, I can't do yoga, I'm not flexible, but that's why you go to yoga. Or I can't do this, I'm not strong, but that's why you do it. Instead of being so negative that I can't be like, I can and I will. So it's all about changing your mindset. There doesn't need to be a lot of time spent or a grand event to tell yourself, okay, I'm gonna start living a holistic lifestyle now. Doing the yoga for 30 minutes, cooking your own meal for 10 minutes, that sort of brings you back to living a better, more well-rounded life. It's really all about the choices that you make. Again, it's how bad do you want it? How bad do you really want to get fit? And if you keep saying tomorrow, it's never gonna happen, trust me. If you decide, okay, I'm gonna get fit, try it now, even if it's at 2 p.m., even if it's like 11 p.m., if you say now, now.